Hello friends, welcome back again to Mules Academy. In this session, we are going to talk about when we do a Maven deployment, okay, either directly from our command line or from the CI/CD pipeline. So if I don't pass the deployment settings, right, the public URL won't get enabled for our for our apps deployed under Cloud of 2.0. Okay. So in this session, we are going to see. Okay, we can hard code the public URL. Okay, so if you have custom domain and uh, you know you want to have a, a generic URL for your apps, we can hard code that. Or if you want to generate the uh, uh, random URL, so we can say that generate default public URL. Okay, so there were issues in the in the Maven till three dot eight dot zero. Okay, so three three till three dot eight dot zero. The even if you pass any setting, okay, it was ignoring those deployment settings. Now that issue is fixed in three dot eight dot one. That's the reason I'm using three dot eight dot one here. Okay, if you don't know what all things to be configured in your form dot xml for cloud or two dot zero. I recommend to please go ahead and look at my previous sessions where we have configured our form.xml for the, the deployment automation. Okay. And I recommend everyone to please go ahead, subscribe the channel, hit the like button, and hit the bell icon so that you get notification to upcoming videos. Okay. Let's go ahead and first, without any deployment setting, let's try to deploy this app on our, uh, our cloud of cloud zero under our private so I have created private space. Okay. How to create private space. Again, I'll recommend to go ahead and look at the, the previous videos from our uh, cloud of cloud web uh, series. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's say, uh, let's go to the command line first. Okay. So before that, since I have deployed multiple times this, uh, app, so I'll go ahead and I'll say, I want the fresh app. Okay. So I'll say 4.0.0. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's save this first and right click and just go to the location of this app. So it will take me to that location and start the command line from here. So first, you know, uh, if you remember the cloud of 2.0, you know, deployment goes in two phases. Okay, the first phase is we need to uh, publish this uh, app to our exchange. So we'll be running Maven clean deploy so this will take our app and publish our app to HTTP. okay so if everything works fine it will publish our app to our exchange and if we can go to our exchange and we can look at our um, um i'll just uh, go to my point location Okay. Getting executed is uploading our app. Let's go here and let's take our exchange. New tab. Okay, so question one, type is equal to app show all. I'll add this URL anyway. In the previous sessions, I have already discussed this. So you can see that MMP CH2 deployment. The refresh, it should be 4.0.0 over here. Let's see, it's finished, but it should be there. It should be there. So it's an updated thirty one second, but still the latest one. Okay, it's there now. Okay, so not sure why it's not picking this. Ah, it's coming now. Okay, so once this is published. I can go ahead and I can run a command. Okay. 
deploy and I'll say new deploy. This will pop, uh, this will deploy my application to cloud of 2.0 by HPs. That's how I have configured my let's close this my mule maven plugin. You can see here. I'm going to deploy it in the sandbox, and this is the target. This target is nothing but my private space. Okay, so let me show you quickly that private space. If I go to my in runtime manager. So this is the private space we have. Okay. And now if you go to applications, it started deploying my app. Okay, let's see the command line. It started deploying the app. And if we go quickly, there won't be any application URL at all. Okay. So this URL won't get enabled by default. If you go with Maven commands and if you don't mention this setting. Okay, so let's go ahead and first, uh, you know, set the first setting where we'll say that deployment setting and we'll add to the okay. So, in this case, what will happen? It will generate default public URL. The way if I go here to ingress and add endpoint, whatever URL is getting generated, this URL, this URL will be generated once we deploy with this setting. Okay, so let me save this. Okay, let me save this. Let's, now this time what I'll do, I'll change it to 5.0.g. Okay, save this. Meanwhile, we publish it to the exchange. Let it run. Okay, so I'll open one more tab. I'll go ahead and start and we'll run the command MVN clean deploy. So this should publish i.0.0 with latest changes where we have we have added. Uh, Okay, let's wait for that deployment. It's going on. Then, okay, then fine. It should work. Let me close this then. It should work. It should not go in error. Not sure what was I doing that other command line. Or maybe this tab is open here and okay. So now you can see that it's referring 5.0.0. It will upload this. And if you look at our URL right now, there is no, it's deployed. There is no URL right now. Okay. Now, once this is published to exchange, Okay. By the way, refresh it and show you. We are not deployed with a new changes. Okay, so that's the reason there is no public endpoint for this app right now. Okay, so it is getting published. Now let's go ahead and try to deploy. Now what what changes we have added to our form production? We are saying go ahead and generate default public url okay so in my previous session if you if you remember we have uploaded the custom domain okay so after this step we will so right now this will generate a default public url let's say i don't want default public url 
we can hard code or we can configure the url as per our requirement so we'll do that in next step okay let's have a look at it what's happened we started deploying it let's go to our app and if i refresh it once this is started redeploying we'll see that there will be a public endpoint here okay that is let's wait for that see here it started redeploying and you can see that the default public url has been added okay hope that is clear the second step first step you are not configuring anything that is then we didn't see any public endpoint not enabled was the option showed here right now it's showing public default public url okay now let's do i don't want this default public url what i'll do i'll go ahead and i'll say boss i want my url if i say control x i'll go here control v and what we do control a control shift f i'll configure properly and i don't want forward ssl so i'll say false or even i don't want to configure this okay but let it be i'll just say false and i will say false okay now in this case if you remember i am saying hey go ahead and have my <clears throat> domain name which i have already uploaded the custom domain make sure that you have uploaded a custom pls wildcard certificate over there then only this url is going to work okay so let's see <laughs> so let's save this okay this time we'll make it 6.0.0 save everything now what we are doing is we are saying i don't want default public url i want the url something like okay so let's go ahead and see deploying it redeploying it okay <clears throat> So it's done actually. It's redeployed and we can see the proper URL. Okay. So even if I copy this URL and if I go to my postman and if I say control V and my endpoint is MLP, if I trigger this, it will give me a proper one. Okay. Now we have saved the third step. We'll go ahead. And we'll say it's deployed, right? Perfect. Let's first publish it with 6.0.0. Let's wait for this. Oh, getting loaded. Perfect. Now, once I deploy the application, instead of this public default URL, I'll be getting URL of my choice with vanity URLs. Okay, newsacademy.com and slash this one. Okay. So it's getting published. It has completed, done. I could and deploy this now. So it will redeploy my application. So let me recap. Meanwhile, so we are playing with this deployment settings. Okay. And I mentioned that till 3.8.0, this, this settings were ignored. Okay. This were not giving any url to you know whenever we do deploy okay now this got fixed here that's the reason i have i have you know uploaded this video okay so hope you know how to configure this server okay so if you if you're uh coming from uh, this uh session by session so you'll see that this is coming from setting direction okay anyways started redeploying let's have a look at it 
Now you can see that that is redeploying it and see the URL. This is dev.mutesacademy.com and the app name. Okay. And even if you go to the ingress, right, we properly show you this. See, subdomain is coming properly here. The app name is coming properly here. Okay. Coming properly. Okay. Now, once this is deployed, I can copy this URL, copy this link address, and go to my. So here I can place it. And let's see whether it's deployed or not. You can see the proper output. Okay. Yeah, that's all from this session where we learn how to enable our public URL, whether it's a default public URL or a public URL coming from our custom TLS. Okay, that's all from this session. Hope you liked it. Um, thanks for watching. Bye bye.